Next in our, our gaming demo series are Louis Pinot and Mark Hansen from a company that is known and beloved to people around the world, but in particular from this company, which is, of course, Lego. This is the moment you are allowed to take out from underneath your chairs, open, or, or actually, you put them on your laps. I, I, I wait for their instruction on what to do with them, but you're allowed to bring them up from underneath the chairs. Louis Pinot is Lego's senior director and general manager for the Serious Play for Business. Mark Hansen is the senior director of Lego Digital Play Studio. They're going to take us through a Serious Play exercise and tell us about Lego Universe. Welcome Louis Pinot and Mark Hansen. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Um, it's, it's okay. You can, you can start doing things if you want. What I might suggest, you're going to need to do this in about three minutes. This is very hard. This is the hardest part of the session. Are you ready? You need to open the plastic bags on top, and you need to take out the yellow, the orange, and the red bricks. And I will not tell you why, but they are the only bricks that you're allowed to play with in the exercise that's coming up. And you need to use all the yellow, orange, and red bricks. And yes, the little yellow brick with the eye is also a yellow brick, and it's important to the exercise. Now, while you're rummaging about, let's just uh, do a proper introduction. So our session, yes, that's not one of the conductors, great, um, is called um, New Play in Business. And that's what this session is really about. It's about play and new kinds of play for kids of all ages, all of you here, in the 21st century. And my apologies in advance, you'll see a bit of Lego, you know, maybe it's too much you know, in the presentation. It's just because Lego is kind of like Kleenex, so it's just a word for the bricks. Um, so it's not a big commercial here, but just we're, we're going to talk about this stuff. So very, very quickly, um, let's just talk about where LEGO has been in the years that um, you've been. The, the classic question for us at LEGO is, what is this thing? What is this thing you've got? Is it a toy? Is it just a toy? Or might it also be a powerful tool? And since I raise a question, we probably won't have time to really do question and answer, but if you've got some comments, you can. If you can handle the bricks and your texting devices at the same time, send us a couple of comments along the way. This is a coordination test. And if you need to ask things like, can I get a Millennium Falcon on a deal from the company store, come and ask us after. This is maybe not what we do here. And what we've discovered is that it's, of course, both, but it's increasingly become a powerful tool for many things. It's a tool for acts of imagination and creativity. It is a tool which is handy for doing things like rapid prototyping. It's a tool that is handy for, well, for hands. And it is, it is users out in the world who don't work for Lego who have discovered its powerful properties and are using it for many, many things. What we have attuned ourselves to in this last decade as Google was being born, is that there is a user community out there. We began making things and publishing those things. This is one of our first generation uh, robotics products. We then got a little wiser, and we found some select trusted people out there that we could co-build with and design kind of in secret and you know special codes. And, but it was actually pretty neat, because we actually got a much richer, denser product out of doing that. Then we discovered that we could enlist a wider range of users who were extremely creative, and we could bring them on board and publish their products. So this is a kit with, which would make 76 different train designs out of one box, and those 76 trains were designed not by anybody at LEGO, but by the user community that, that we would bring. So then we got a little smarter and said, hey, if there's that much energy out there in the world, and they're developing the stuff, why don't we give them some guides and tools and license permissions to go out and publish for themselves as well? Until finally we're in this act of really working together 
and uh, supporting new businesses and partners and joint ventures and an and ability to really bring new people online. One of the things, you might recognize a couple of players there, that we've recognized is that there are executives doing problem solving, doing team building, who are hands-on in the bricks and bringing us into something else. There are benefits that we put some study into in the last 10 years. There's something about the neuropsychology of the hand-mind interaction. When we use our hands and, and when we model with our hands, when you tell a story over what you model, you are, because so much of the brain is dedicated to, to the manipulation of the hand, stuff happens. There's more neuronal activity, there's better suffusion of blood to critical areas of the brain. It is, it is a deep opportunity for us to engage and think in a different way. So we started to package stuff. What you have in your hand is a LEGO Serious Play kit. And in that, we walk people through a series of exercises, and the boxes get bigger and bigger, where we ask people to, to build, to build themselves, their roles in their organizations, their identity, their personal identity. We merge identities into collective identities. We use that as the centerpiece of competitive landscapes. We introduce agents and competitors and changes in regulations and threats of mergers. We then connect all the pieces together in the landscape, and then we start acting out scenarios in it. And, and talk about stuff happening. It's, it's emergence. It's, it's from the system of complexity, suddenly the hidden pattern and order can come out. And you can touch it and you can feel it. And we're doing this now with some of the largest aerospace companies, energy petrochemical companies, banks, retailers, building their stores to the future, board level, what have you. But now we're at this point where we need to sort of let it happen. What we haven't done in these last 10 years is let users take control of it from themselves and bring us to the next level. Would you please, I'm not going to skip ahead. Have you got your bricks? You got the right bricks? OK, you've got 30 seconds. Please build a duck. Build a duck. Build a duck. Can I go back for a second? Thank you. <laughs> Anybody got a duck yet? Yeah. Can, we, can we see a couple? Up to the right. Can I, can I pick up a couple? There's one. Got another one? A duck, a duck. Anybody's duck? Ready, ready to share? Peter, come on. <laughs> Here we go. OK. okay. Would, you, would you look around at other people's ducks? And just, and just tell me if you've got any identical ducks? Any, any ducks that are the same out there, or similar, or becoming one? You can keep working on the ducks, that's OK. What, what, <laughs> you've got something impressive. Look at that, awesome. I wish I could zoom in on it. Yes. <laughs> so, I mean, in, in 30 seconds, we begin to learn some stuff. Simple pieces can generate tremendous levels of complexity. I can pretty much guarantee you, we've done this in audiences of 2,000. We've very rarely had two ducks come out of the same set of bricks. And we often do this with just five or six bricks. So everybody has their duck. But it's, a, it's something about the preconceptions we hold in ourselves, a preconception of what a duck is. And we think we have a commonly held belief of what a duck is. But actually, the line between those two things is a bit longer than we think. And the fun thing is that most things that you've built, I would bet, would be recognized as a duck, which is really fun. And isn't it great that even with the same bricks, we're likely to construct something that really has unique identities? Now, imagine these kinds of exercises connected in a different kind of system. We're starting to try to reach out to audiences like you, but connected digitally across time zones, with companies of 100,000 employees who can live and work and collaborate together in the BRICS in a different way. We'll show you a short video of how we think that might be starting to happen. And it begins, as always, with LEGO, with kids, and the values that we're learning from them. Video, please. In a world where electronics and technology is gaining and we have a plastic product, it's, it's the interesting part there is how do we connect the, the physical with the new virtual digital era of time. Fans of LEGO, already immersed in the digital era, began to use their own software to build their creations. 
LEGO responded by developing a proprietary software that would allow fans to more fully customize their LEGO designs. That's a great way uh, for us also to empower consumers to, to do their own thing. So we need to have a software that not only allows you to put together a few things, but actually to do it modularly. And that was really quite unique of saying, wow, can we really make a product line that would be completely designed by consumers to be able to put onto the shelf? We decided to bring digital designer forward and we allowed consumers to build their own virtual creations. We created a platform using LEGO Digital Designer where you can actually build whatever LEGO design you want from a certain palette of LEGO elements, design a packaging that you think would be really cool, and then enabling the consumers to order their own very unique design through a on-demand supply chain. We had over 200,000 downloads and not just from one place in the world, but from many different uh, regions from, from around the world. We had more than 130,000 models uploaded in our gallery. That's a huge amount of, of, of content being developed by consumers or fans. So here we are, three years later, a success of, of LEGO Factory, in the middle of the development of LEGO Universe, where 3D building in a virtual environment is really key. It's about bringing kids together to build anything they want, anything that's in their imagination, but to bring it live, collaborative building, building instructions on demand for the physical space, connecting the, the virtual space, being able to do hinging of doors and putting life into the environment. And this is very important to us, and I really feel that it's going to be a success, and we can see that with the kids that, that we're, we're doing um, business with today through LEGO Factory, through building with, with LEGO Digital Designer, the testing with, within LEGO Universe, that it just brings a whole nother level of, of LEGO play to the market. Well, this is our second big LUP event. The first one was about their ideas and what, what was their vision. If you had an empty palette, what would LEGO Universe be? Um, and we really fed off of that and they built a lot of amazing stuff that we still have around here that still motivates, I think, the team even today. Now the game's progressed enough and now it's about them actually making their worlds in the game. LUPs are LEGO Universe partners and they work with us on developing the game and developing tools to actually put content into the game. And so they're very passionate about it and they just bring another viewpoint from what LEGO Company brings. You know, many of them are lead engineers at all these major, you know, aeronautical engineering companies. And, you know, during the day they have a very serious, uh, difficult job and they take that same engineering approach to how they build things and it's, um, it's amazing. Am I impressed with what they're doing? There's no question. They're, they're amazing people. They've had access to our tool set for, what, a day? You know, the, they first learned how to use it in a three and a half hour class yesterday. And, and they've got terrain, they've got, uh, you know, texturing, they've got water, they've got enemies, they've got everything in the world they could possibly imagine. I mean, we've got guys trained on this stuff for over a year now. And these guys pick it up just like nothing. It's, it's really impressive. Now we're at the point where we're finally getting hold of the tools to build the game proper as opposed to just models to be used in the game, which is where we've been so far. Imagine a kid from Thailand and one from Singapore and one from Denmark and one from Brazil and one from Canada all building with bricks on the exact same house or bridge or tower. And it's fantastic. All LEGO play themes are somewhere in LEGO Universe to be discovered and explored. I mean, you're going to see pirates, you're going to see ninjas, you're going to see robots, you're going to see underwater stuff, you're going to see city things. Busy, chaotic, bustling, you know, cities full of you know, minifigs running to and fro on their little missions and then dark, dangerous Indiana Jones style jungles. This place, this game world, is going to be a rallying point for LEGO enthusiasts of every age and every nationality. The world itself, the bricks that you use, the buildings that you make, the people that you interact with, the friends that you can get, I mean, it's just, it's endless. Everything is possible. I hope so. <laughs> now today, you've gotten a taste of exactly where, where LEGO is, is going and what they're doing in the digital space. And over the, the, the couple of years that, that we've been working on, on this project, we have seen that the kids laugh, we've seen the kids participate, we've seen that the kids see the possibilities about what they can do with these tools and where they can possibly can go. Now we have to be able to meet their expectation, and I truly and firmly believe we can meet their expectations and exceed it. It's about bringing that LEGO play alive and have a new 21st century play in the marketplace. Okay, um, <laughs> thanks.
Now, that, I'll just reiterate, that is not a, a Lego advertisement. Because just as, as Lewis just demonstrated, a duck can be a billion different combinations. And now we're focusing on a, on a virtual platform to connect kids from all around the world. And if we can take this plastic brick right here, which our owner is very, very, very passionate about, and we've got to turn it to be virtual. And so we've got a team, we've got a lot of people working on this. But what does it mean? How do we put creativity in the hands of kids to be very safe, that, that's one thing. But just think, these kids, when they start working together collaboratively, building creatively, sharing their ideas, more than just chatting, more than just putting pictures up, it's about being creative world and sharing what their world looks like and actually beginning to talk. And today we're just talking about issues that we're going to have to face in 30 years. Well, it's the kids that are going to have to solve them. And I really feel that, that when we get on a plane, and we're just traveling here, and I, I mean, I'm pretty much on a plane 200 days out of the year, and when people come and say, wow, you work for Lego. You know, I did that. I work for, I love playing with Lego, and that's why I started my company, or wow, I did this, and I built things. I just found out in the back, somebody built a printer out of Lego, which is pretty impressive. Um, and, and there's many, many, many things that, that uh, happen with this brick. It is a common language. And we're trying to bring it to get people to actually collaborate and work together in great play. Play brings great ideas to solve great problems. And uh, so, so this is really what we go forward with to, to have. The dream here is to get millions and millions of people who love Lego. It's not just the child, but hopefully you guys will, will begin to, to create and, and, and play. Um, it's really what, what I have to, to say, and I can see my time is out, yeah, so I better that's great. run away. We're just going to say thank you, um, and uh, please take the kits with you. You'll see there are feedback forms. Maybe instead of the feedback form, in addition to it, build a model of your Zeitgeist experience and, and just stick it together, the feedback form. Thanks so much. <laughs> thank you.